Oklahoma is one of 19 states in the nation allowing corporal punishment in schools. One state lawmaker is hoping to put a dent in that, prohibiting physical punishment for students with disabilities. Fox 25's Peyton May joins us now live from the Capitol. So Peyton, tell us more about this proposal. Wendy, Representative Talley is a believer that how parents want to discipline their children is up to them. But when it comes to a teacher disciplining a student, especially a student with a disability, that's a bit different. Corporal punishment is an old school practice and it's become controversial. It means you bend over and someone uses a board uh, to hit you on the behind. And um, it can really hurt because I had it used on me when I was a kid. There's a State Department of Education rule prohibiting the punishment for kids with disabilities. But when his constituent called to press the issue, Representative Talley found without a state law, it's still happening here. Just over the past two years, we've had 63 school districts, 455 uh, times a special needs student has been, has had corporal punishment used against them in the state of Oklahoma. The representative from Stillwater says preventing this type of treatment is close to home. I'm passionate about kids. My whole life I've worked with kids, but my wife uh, retired as a special ed teacher and, and district administrator and a principal of an alternative school. And so she's seen a lot of students be misused, mistreated uh, through her work with special needs students. The bill would not prevent parents from choosing how they'd like to discipline their kids, but it would ensure that the physical harm for certain students would not happen inside the classroom. I just think a special needs student uh, doesn't need to deal with that pain because I think they would be wondering why why is this happening to me? Why not ban corporal punishment to all students? Um, that's not a bad idea. That isn't something I wanted to tackle this year. Now there isn't a punishment if a school district were to break the law. Representative Talley is working to add that to his bill. Reporting live at the Capitol, Peyton May, Fox 25 News.